Hey guys, this is Mark Yoki again. Welcome back to my channel. I've been using the latest Realme GD Neo 3 for almost two months already. And these are my honest thoughts on this phone. I'll make it short and concise for this video. So let's get started guys. Firstly, it's the build quality. I really love the racing design with the signature camera placement. Just that the Realme Dare to Leap logo branding below might not be everyone's preference. But to me, it just looks nice. One thing I love about the matte finish, which is so smooth to touch, and less fingerprint smudges for sure. Very nice feeling. It's actually curved back, and also it's quite thin at 8.2 mm, and also light at 188 gram. My only complaint is the plastic frame of the phone. It's actually the same material as the GT Neo 2, which I used last year. It felt too plasticky to me, to be honest. I actually prefer the material used in the original Realme GT, which I used last year too. So I hope that Realme will hear this. The front is a huge 6.7 inch of AMOLED display, 1080p resolution, and it supports 120Hz refresh rate and also HDR10+. However, there's no LTPO or variable refresh rate on this display. It's either 60, 120 Hz period and also the bezels are very thin especially at the chin here definitely no issue watching movies or playing games on the GT Neo 3 two words vibrant colors as for the cameras they maintain the usual high standard of some Realme phones like the G2 Pro and also the Realme 9 Pro Plus the main camera uses the 50 megapixel Sony IMAX 766 sensor with OIS which I've been getting a lot of compliments this year. The 8 megapixel camera does a fine job also, but sometimes photos come out a bit cooler than the main cameras. As for the 2 megapixel macro lens, nothing to shout about. The video stabilization is good also. Do check it out the photos and video samples after this. <laughs> The GT Neo 3 is powered by the latest MediaTek Dimensity 8100, which I really like. Smooth performance for day-to-day -day tasks, no issue. For heavy gaming, it performs really well, even for Genshin Impact. I play Genshin for 30 minutes for the frame rates, still maintained at 56 FPS. And also the stainless steel vapor cooling system, okay, within this phone, really does a good job of cooling down the phone after heavy gaming. So good job, Realme. Five thousand milliampere battery on this piece. 
I get screen on time of around 6 to 7 hours which is quite a norm for phones in 2022 and also the inbox 80 watt fast charger can top out the battery from 0 to 100% in less than 35 minutes which is impressive Lastly, speaker test the GT Neo 3 has a dual stereo speakers which are powered by Dolby Atmos Do check it out guys So there you go guys, my long term review of the Realme GT03. In Malaysia, this phone is selling for 2099 Ringgit Malaysia officially for the 256 gig of storage and 8 gig of RAM. However, from time to time you guys can get it for less than 2000 Ringgit on Shopee and Lazada which I think is a good deal. The gaming performance is the one that impressed me. Apart from the stunning AMOLED display and dual speakers, good cameras and great battery life. Do let me know if you have any questions. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace guys.